So you're the you're the last. Yep, I'm number seven. You're number seven. And you decided it's, it was your time, huh? Yep, they broke me down. Oh, well, you know, I figured if I go in, you know, they're bound to give us our own ship, you know. <laughs> I grew up in Harmony, Missouri. Very small town, population of about 2,500 people. I think that always had that special place as, you know, being some of my first memories. <laughs> I have six siblings who have all served in the Navy. Two older brothers, Austin and Logan. Four sisters, Jessica, Alyssa, Michaela, and Nina. We don't really have a military family background at all, so to see all of them decide to take the same route, it's cool to watch. My parents own Village Market in Herman, Missouri. My dad, you know, started the store from scratch, and very quickly we became one of the prominent families in town. That's it. They always say, it doesn't matter what you decide to do, just put 110% effort into it. I could tell how proud my parents were, you know, of the rest of the kids. And I think, at the end of the day, they just want to see them, you know, be happy and live a fulfilled life. Well, I did get out of the house. By the time I got to the end of high school, you know, most of my siblings had already gone in and enlisted. I never really felt any sort of pressure from them to go in. But seeing the wonders it did for them, seeing how much they loved it, and uh, seeing how successful they are now because of the Navy, it's encouraging, you know, it kind of makes you aspire for more. You're only eligible for that program if you are enlisted. I did really love Herman growing up here and I could definitely see myself staying, but another part of me, you know, was very curious. There was always something I was trying to explore, and that definitely made me wonder, you know, what else there was out there. My siblings might have been more uh, gung-ho about getting out of Herman, but it, it wasn't necessarily the same for me. I kept playing the game of what if. Well, what if I'd go into the service? You start listing these reasons why you shouldn't, and then it comes a lot to sort out. It's a challenge, but it's, it's a good challenge too, you know? And you're going in it, and you're just trying to figure it out, but so is everyone else. The new school, man, like, it, it's gonna be tough. The, the bad days, you know, they're gonna come, but yeah, the good days are going to override them. You know, I think more than any of the other kids, I really loved it growing up here. You know, I love the small town. I love, you know, all the activities, being outdoors, and I am going to miss miss the hell out of the town and have all of you guys. Small town is good living, but you got to go test the waters elsewhere, and I think someday you'll work your way back. You know. Yeah. My siblings have warned me that nuclear school is probably going to be one of the hardest things I'll ever do in my life. But if my other siblings can do it, I can do it. Some people choose this path, some people choose this path, but out here's the winner. Willing to do what other people won't do is what separates you from everybody.
Your hair's got long. Yeah, I've been letting it get a little bit away from me. And we are taking off your beard, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Unless you think the Navy will let me keep it. <laughs> well, we're gonna miss you around here. You make sure when you're back home, you come see us. Oh, you know I won't skip a beat. Take it easy, Brandon. I seen you, bud. I'll take the memories that I have of my childhood and, you know, my memories of Herman to my deathbed. But there's more out there to see and experience, and I don't want to be excluded from that. Being scared and excitement kind of go hand in hand, you know, you're going into the unknown. But I'm ready to see how my story unfolds. My name is Colton Hubbard, and I'm a future sailor in the United States Navy.